Good morning, day 234, cooking down the refrigerator, freezer, and working pantry meals. This morning it's a chilly 19 degrees, but it's going to go up to 30. So definitely winter is here, but it is supposed to warm up a little bit next week into the 40s. So yay. But we did finally get a little bit of snow. Not much, but everything is has a cover of snow. But for the middle to the end of November, that's pretty good. We had a really, really nice Indian summer. The leaves this year were really nice. So, can't complain. I hope the winter doesn't drag on too long, but here in Ohio it can drag on for months, even into April. But anyway, we'll worry about that later. And actually, we won't worry about that at all because we'll make things nice and cozy inside. So I don't have to do a lot of cooking today. I cooked ahead. Um, I have all kinds of different meals that I can make. I ended up only taking half of the cheese sauce, the bean, the bean dip, to my daughter's because it made so much. And uh, oh, they had so much food. And my son-in-law is trying to perfect smoking beef briskets. And everybody was just raving about brisket that he smoked. So he should just open up a restaurant because he is a very good cook. And so is my daughter. So as far back as I can remember, the women in the family always like to cook. Not so much the men. I mean, my sons can cook. Um, my one son worked in a restaurant, I think it was Fridays as a cook when he was young. And um, my other son, he cooks himself food, but he's more of a plain cook. You know, he likes to grill his chicken, and he's a very healthy eater. Uh, he likes to grill his salmon, bake it. So my boys do cook, and my daughter cooks. So that's a good thing. And teaching your boys to cook is always nice. Now, my grandson has no interest in cooking at all. <laughs> but my other two grandsons do. They like to cook. They'll cook with their dad. So, anyway, I forgot my eggs at my daughter's yesterday. She had a dozen eggs for me. And her hens now are laying about eight a day. So, eventually, she's going to start selling eggs which is, you know, another little sideline. It helps pay for their food and their bedding because that's all expensive. So chickens are a lot of work. I always thought, oh, it'd be fun to have a couple of chickens, which I can't have here because of the association. I live in a townhouse. But I changed my mind. It's too much work. <laughs> I don't want any more work. So, anyway, um, I'm not sure what's for breakfast this morning. Again, I have lots of choices. I'm really liking the cucumber and cream cheese. That was really delicious, but I don't know if I want that again. We'll see. We'll have to take a look in the fridge in a little bit. And I made myself a new to-do list today with some easy chores on it. And I know I won't get through all of them, but when that paper's full, I just take scrap paper so I can throw it away. And when that paper's filled up and I've done most of the chores, I just throw that paper out and get a new paper and start a new list. It's been working out fine. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy my coffee now, and uh, I'll show you what's in my refrigerator in a little bit. Well, let's see what's for brunch today. 
in my oh-so-packed refrigerator. So in here I have some salad fixings. This is um, green onion and celery. And this is some of my cheese dip, bean dip. So I could have nachos later if I want. I still have some um, tomatoes. This is still a little bit of cream cheese with ranch dressing. I still have some <clears throat> cheese that was frozen. And I have some cheese here that was not. I still have some of my freezer jam, eggs, mushrooms. I marinated one of my pork um, seitan. I've got my walnut, Walmart bread, not walnut, <laughs> grapes. I still have some cabbage that I want to make with noodles. I really need to eat this yogurt. This is an egg. I'll have that with a salad. Um, in here I have some pasta. I only need half of that for my noodles and cabbage. So I think this morning I'm going to have some pasta. Um, with egg. In here I still have mushroom pasta. I'll probably eat that for dinner with a salad. Use up some of those salad fixings. And in here I still have some apples for fruit and I also have bananas. And then the sauerkraut is going to be for a meal down the road should be good. Need to check the expiration date on that. So, I still have salad greens and cucumbers. I'll eat those in my salad tonight. So, okay, still plenty of food to eat. I still have a little bit of my homemade pickles. Another jar of yogurt. This was the wing sauce. That needs to go back there. All right. So that's what I'm having for brunch and dinner today. Not much cooking involved. So, all right. I will meet you at the stove. Here's my brunch this morning. The uh, brown rice pasta with two eggs just scrambled in there. Some yogurt with grapes. And that's it. A couple more meals out of my cooking down the refrigerator. Alright, I'll be back later. Cheers. Let's have some morning coffee. Well, breakfast was good. My belly is full. And I was just thinking, with this whole cooking down the refrigerator and freezer and pantry, um, I was thinking about what is my goal? Ultimately, what is my goal? So after I thought about it, and I always had this sort of in the back of my mind anyway, but my goal is to downsize my food buying and the downsizing of the products I buy. And by that I mean um, most of us as humans, we like to try new things, and that's great. And then we try them, some things we love, some things eh, and some things we don't like at all. 
So my goal here is to find things in my life that I'm comfortable with, that I enjoy eating, that um, I don't have so much excess. I don't know about you guys, but when I go into the grocery store and you look at the shelves and shelves of products, it's almost overwhelming. It, it's like too many choices. And I think that's what it boils down to. In this day and age, we have so many choices that it gets to be too much. And then sometimes we make poor decisions because we choose something that we really don't want. We chose it because of marketing or, you know, uh, they tell you that this is good, you need it. And we kind of go along with that flow. So let's take, for instance, mustard, okay? My goal is to use up the mustards that I have in my fridge and maybe stick with two or three different kinds of mustard rather than having five or six different kinds of mustard. Or, you know, the same with mayonnaise. You know, you, you don't need different kinds of mayonnaise, different flavors. Find one or two that I like and then stick with those. Now, I know sometimes it's a problem because you have something that you really like and you buy, you buy it and you've been buying it for a long time. And then what happens? They discontinue it. It happens all the time to me. So then I have to go on a quest to sort of replace that item that I can no longer buy. And that's a, a time where I start to build things up. Because it's like, yeah, this is okay, this mustard's okay, but it, it's not satisfying me as much as the mustard that I really liked that they don't have anymore. So then you try a different mustard. So my ultimate goal is to cook down the things that I already have. I don't want to waste those things. But then to really be mindful of the things that I really enjoy. <clears throat> And this is why I said that I, when I stock up my, my pantry, my long-term pantry, I stock it pretty much only with basic things. Flour, sugar, salt, um, vital wheat gluten, you know, all the things that I eat and that I use to create food. Well, I went through a phase where I bought a lot of vegan meats because they were coming out, they were new, and I wanted to try them. And some of them I do like, and some of them, eh, they were okay. But if I never bought them again, I'd be perfectly happy. But I do want to use those up. So, and, and a couple of them I will continue to buy. And, uh, but my inventory, I want to have a smaller inventory of the things that I like and not keep buying so many new things all the time. And that goes for clothes, too. Um, you know, with me being retired now when I was younger and I worked, you know, of course, I always wanted to look nice and... I did my makeup and I wore heels and skirts and dresses and, you know, nice clothes. But I don't need that anymore. So even if I see a really pretty dress, it's like, where would I wear it? You know, do I really need that? So now I don't buy it. I just buy basic things that I wear all the time. Now I'll buy a different print of t-shirt or a different print of um, a sweater or things like that, but um, I only want clothes now that I can mix and match and get my most money out of, you know, the pieces that I have that I can 
interchange with each other. So more or less sticking to basic colors for my pants and just maybe a top, changing the colors off uh, with that. So anyway, that's my goal in, in cooking down all this food, is to use up what I already have and not just go to the store every week or two and stock up on a lot of other food that I'm going to have to cook down. So sticking for me, sticking with uh, in-season and on-sale uh, fruits and vegetables, you know, I can work around that. And then, like, you know, I made the seitan. I can make pork-like, chicken-like, beef-like, and I can make enough of it where that I can eat it a time or two and then I can freeze the rest for other meals. So um, that's kind of my goal. And that's been my goal from the beginning. And now that um, it's sort of coming to a close, I've been thinking a lot about, well, what's next for this channel? So I'll continue to do cooking videos. I'll continue to do decluttering videos. Um, I may throw some crafts in there because uh, honestly I used to craft more in the past. I just haven't had the time to do that because I'm so busy decluttering. But I have a whole room of things that I can craft. So uh, I don't want to buy more of that kind of stuff. I don't want to buy a bunch of stickers and papers and you know um, I, I don't need those things and I want to use up what I have when it comes to that too. So I may or I may not post every day. Um, if I do I'll probably continue to have coffee with you because I really enjoy that. Um, and I'll probably keep my intro but after the, um, after the year is up, I'm probably not going to focus so much around my meals. I'll probably do some what I ate today, or, you know, I'll continue to have chats. I enjoy doing that. So, I want to interact with you guys. So, leave me some suggestions what you would like to see on, on the channel. Um, and um, it'll give me some ideas of what you're interested in. So uh, just leave me some comments below and let me know. I'd really appreciate that. So okay, uh, that's all I wanted to talk about this morning. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do yet today. I have a small to-do list, you know, water the plants and do the dishes and those sorts of things. But it's Sunday, so I'm not going to get into any intense projects today. All right, well, thanks for having coffee with me, and I'll be back in a little bit, and uh, we'll see what the day brought. All right, it's time for dinner, and I have my leftover pasta with mushroom gravy. Uh, and there's some uh, seitan in there. So I thinned this out with a little bit of milk because it was really thick. So I just added a little soy milk. And that's the last of the pasta with the mushroom gravy. So today was a pasta day. But I don't mind that at all. I love pasta. So there's that. And then I just made myself a quick little salad. And there's that leftover egg on there. A couple of the grape tomatoes. Um, parsley, a little tiny bit of romaine I had left, and celery. So, and, and Italian dressing. Okay. So here is my dinner for tonight. 
and that looks good to me and it'll be very filling so that's all I have for you today no cooking this evening that's always nice just some leftovers uh, cooked on purpose because I like I like leftovers. Sometimes I like leftovers better than the original dish. So, I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.